Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to Olive Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to talk about these six soft purpley shades. I'm calling this my light purples comparison, but there are some colors in here that are not quite purple, but we're going to look at them up close and we'll see all the differences in just a minute. This is a video in my purple comparison series where I'm comparing all of the purple creams from Zoya, and so I will link that playlist up above in the cards and also down below in the description box if you want to check out the other purples from Zoya that I've been comparing. This is my last video in this series and I am so excited to wrap this up. I will be doing a My Favorite Purples next and then we'll move on to the next color. I've posted a poll in my community tab about which color you wanna see compared next, so definitely go over there and vote if you haven't yet because I would love to hear from you to see what you wanna see compared next. And all right, let's just dive in and talk about these six lovely soft purples. All right, we are going to start with Heather, and Heather is a really interesting polish because I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but it does have the most subtle shimmer. I'll see if I can get it on camera. Yeah, there we go. Right on the side, you can see it just a little bit. It has a very subtle shimmer. Zoe describes this as a very, very pale, creamy lilac purple with a drop of light baby pink and extremely subtle micro shimmer. So they do describe this one as purple and they say it's intensity three. And so when I read intensity three, that generally tells me that I'm probably going to need three coats. It's a pretty you know, lighter color. And this one was brought to us in the Bouquet collection. I couldn't find a release date for that collection, so that tells me that this is a pretty old polish from Zoya. All right, and then next we have Birch. Birch is probably gonna sound pretty familiar because this is from the 2019 Spring Collection, which was the Innocence Collection. This one is so pretty. I really liked Birch when I first swatched it, and I continue to really like it. They describe Birch as a grazed lavender, which I guess seems right. It's definitely grayed out and it's definitely between pink and purple. Okay, next up is a very similar one. This is Kendall. Zoe describes Kendall as a lavender beige cream nail polish shade. And they do say that this one is intensity five and that it covers in two coats. So we'll see what the formula is like on this one. And this one is from the 2011 winter collection, which was the feel collection. All right, another one from the same collection from the 2011 feel collection. This is Megan. And this is a full coverage taupe gray cream is how Zoya describes this one. And now we're gonna look at a polish that probably looks actually purple for the first time in this video. This is Marley. And Marley is from the 2011 Intimate Collection, which was the spring 2011 collection. And it has a very subtle shimmer, so I'm trying to catch that shimmer in here, but it is super, super subtle. And Zoe describes this one as a pale lavender with a subtle silvery pearl finish. This one they say is intensity four, so again, we might see some kind of variable formulas, variable opacity in these polishes. And this one is just so hard to buy online because I look at the picture on Zoya's website and I see a pink polish, but this is definitely purple, at least in this bottle. And so I don't know, I just, I feel like these polishes live in kind of two worlds and they're, they're very hard to just buy online. And then finally we have Abby, which Zoya describes as a light lavender cream. This one's also one of the more recent ones. This is from the 2017 spring collection, which was the charming collection. All right, friends, here we go. Here are all six of these polishes. And I had actually planned to split these up into two groups and do these three and these three a little bit separate. But then I just decided that honestly, if you're looking for a light purple polish, you're probably gonna look at all of these and try and decide which one you want. I had originally separated these three Heather, Birch, and Kendall because I see them as being the most similar to each other. Birch and Kendall definitely look very similar. And I think all three of them just really look like they have a little bit of a pink undertone to them. You know. They're definitely lavender, but I can see the pink that's in here. And then Birch and Kendall have the same kind of grayed out effect. Heather is a little bit more brightly pink, uh, but they're all, I think, very similar. And then in these three, I see many more differences. I think if you're looking for a true light pastel purple, Abby is the way to go. Uh, Marley is really pretty if you're looking for something that's a little bit more blue toned. I really like Abby. I think it's kind of the iconic pastel purple to me. And Megan is a really pretty polish, but honestly just looks gray on the nails to me. All right, so before we dive into the swatches, I wanna show you some other Zoyas to just kind of show you how these fit in the Zoya collection. This is Easton, and Easton is a grayed out purple, but I want to show you how much deeper and duskier it is compared to Birch and Kendall. It is a grayed out purple, but there's really no comparison here. It is obviously so much duskier, almost more 
brown than Birch and Kendall. And interestingly enough, when I bring Easton in, I see more of a difference between Kendall and Birch than I did originally. So I see much more kind of murkiness in Kendall, whereas Birch is now looking a little bit cleaner and a little bit brighter. So I think that's really interesting that Easton is doing that. I definitely thought these looked much closer when I first looked at them. That tells me they're probably gonna look pretty close on the nails, you know, so we'll see that in a second. All right, and then here are Malia and Delia. I think these two are kind of lighter purples, and so I just wanted to show you them compared to this group, but obviously they're much more saturated than anything here. And as always, when I'm talking about lighter polishes, I like to try and bring in just a classic white to show you actually how much color is in these polishes. I know they look super, super light. They look super washed out, super, you know, just kind of pastel and soft. But compared to Purity, which is a, you know, just a classic white from Zoya, they obviously have so much color. Like, look how pink Heather looks. Look how purple Marley looks. Um, I think this is a really helpful way to just kind of gauge how much color is in here. All right, and then just to show you how gray I see Megan. I wanted to show you it next to two kind of classic grays from Zoya. These are Carrie and Dove. I definitely see the purple, you know, kind of hint in here, but in my mind, Megan looks really, really gray here. Um, I do see the purple undertone. 100% I see it, uh, but I also see that it looks pretty gray. So I think Megan in my mind is more gray than it is purple. If you've worn this one before and you disagree with me and you see more purple, let me know. Even when I swatched it, I felt like it was just very, very gray. Really pretty, but not purple. All right, so I am gonna swatch Birch and Kendall, but the rest of these, I just feel like actually look pretty different from one another and probably don't need to be swatched up close. So let's take a closer look at Birch and Kendall and see how different they look on the nail. All right, friends, here we go. We're going to start with Kendall here on my middle finger. And this one is going on this first coat pretty smoothly. I have a little bit of streaking, but it's not anything crazy, especially given how light this color is. All right, and then this is gonna be the first coat of Birch, and I'm really excited to see this one. I think the formula looks pretty similar to Kendall, honestly, as far as kind of how smoothly it's going on on the first coat. I still have some streaking, but nothing crazy with this one. I do see a little bit of a difference on the first coat. Birch is looking a little bit lighter, and Kendall looks a little bit more gray, but let's see how they look on two coats. All right, so I'm coming in with my second coat of Kendall, and I do feel like this is getting a little bit more gray, like it's deepening that gray a little bit. It's definitely evening out the streaks that I had, so I feel like this is opaque in two coats. And like I said, I do feel like it looks a little bit more gray. And so here is the second coat of Birch. This one has a really nice formula. I really enjoy really honestly both of these, but Birch is the one that I had swatched most recently, so I remembered it. It does look opaque to me in two coats. I think all those, um, you know, streaks got covered up, and I do see just a little bit of a difference here. I see a little bit more gray in Kendall, and Birch is a little bit whiter. So, you know, these are very, very similar, but I definitely see a difference. They're not exact dupes, and so I think it's probably up to you if you feel like you, you know, need or want both of these lighter gray purples in your collection. All right, friends, awesome. Thank you so much for watching this comparison. I think that my two favorites are probably Birch and Abby. I like all of these colors, but the ones that I will pull for the most are, are these two for sure. The formula on Birch is spectacular, and I really like Abby. I like how purple it looks. Let me know down below which ones are your favorites, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll consider watching the rest of this playlist, which you can find on your screen or down below in the description box. And if you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that we can hang out and chat about nail polish again sometime. Awesome. Thanks so much for chatting with me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.